very excited if they do come out with the white cements this is all rumored this is not like official or anything like that like white cements aren't for sure coming out but if they do that's a that's that's going to be something to look forward to y'all hey man say man it's armand too real in the cut on the mic as you can see and today i'm gonna be talking about some upcoming sneaker releases aka and also some easy talk so um First, I want to talk about, well, I'm going to say that's for last, so actually I'm going to talk about this first. Um, so pretty much Yeezys has been like hitting like retailers for like 40 to 50% off. Like pretty sure like a lot of uh, Yeezy slides, I don't know about 350s. Like I, whenever I was in Miami, I went to this Adidas store and they didn't get any, but I knew like there was probably a couple of Adidas stores like up there in Miami that like probably did get them. There was like a lot of Adidas stores up there. But um, yeah, we don't get straight in this video. Drop a like, drop a sub, all that good stuff. And um, yeah, bro, my mic was acting funny, but now it's apparently working. Hopefully, hopefully y'all can hear me well. But um, I, like I was at like a sneaker event and it was an outdoor event. And I was sweating all up in my mic and stuff. So like, bro, this the mic got jacked up, but apparently it's working right now. And I ordered a new one already. As I say that, it starts acting up again, the receiver, but it's all good. Um, hopefully it's work. Hopefully y'all can sound, hopefully like I'm sounding good and stuff like that. But let's um, get in this video. I want to talk about how like a lot of Yeezy slides and like a lot of like the trash model Yeezys have been like hitting like, um, retailers recently for like 40 to 50 percent off which is like a steal if you can go check your adidas store and if they have easy slides for 40 to 50 percent off and you're a reseller or if you want to swap for the personal like especially if you're a reseller though like bro go take advantage of that because i mean 40 to 50 percent off on easy slides i mean that's good profit margin right there i'm just gonna say that right now like that's better than a lot of shoes a lot of a lot of like even sbs that's been coming out so well besides like a sb like futura i mean those were just like hard to touch i mean but um pretty much um a lot of like yeah a lot of like slides and stuff have been hitting like um like uh, retailers and stuff so um that's that's pretty crazy if you want to go check your adidas store locally i'd go do that but then also i want to talk about um the apparently the jordan 4 white cements like the last time they came out was the 2016 version one i don't know if they i think they came out kind of like kind of like how like military blues um have been coming out for a while like since like 1990 ish like um i'm pretty sure hold on, let me check it let me check that real quick yeah so yeah the white cement fours did they did have like an 89 they did come out like 1989 and then they came out like um in like my time like 2016 like i remember when they came out i was wearing like a grade school size i remember i caught like a like a like my size was like a seven and i remember like that's like the best grade school size i was like wearing i was wearing like a seven though at the time i remember and i remember i wore them to school the next day and this kid i knew like i remember at the time like it was like a thing to make them like look like the retro version like look like the 89 version so like like there's people who like like i remember kai somar he like ran over his pair with a car to make them look like the 89 version which is really just stupid but i remember this kid he was like trying to like say oh you gotta vintage them and he kept on coming over and stepping on my shoes bro which was crazy like that was crazy of him like most kids would like definitely got their ones with that kid like definitely would have fought that kid for doing some stuff like that because that's like a no-no like stepping on someone's shoe especially purposely like as a joke like it's not even a joke bro but anyways um that was pretty funny but um yeah i just want to like talk about that like that's pretty interesting how like the white cement fours are like rumored to come out i hope they do but um like they've been coming out with a lot of fours like the freaking bread reimagines bread reimagines they've came out with they've come out with the dang military blues like they've been they've been coming out with a lot of fours lately which is that's cool and all if you want to wear them for the personal but like bro fours are just getting to the point where like fours every four used to be like three to four hundred bucks at least it, like well maybe like honestly all fours usually brick at first like i mean look at the fire red fours look at the um lightnings etc etc they always brick at first but like they usually like six months down the line they go for crazy bread like four hundred dollars plus but like for example with these and these like i mean it's just gonna be hard to be like a four hundred dollar shoe because they made so many of these so like nike <laughs> excuse me like they've been like hold on a sec all right excuse me but like nike like they've been purposely doing this kind of like how they did with the panda dunks like they make like an excessive amount of these like to prevent people from being able to resell their pairs which is just stupid i remember whenever i used to get my pairs and i'd see like on the label would say like um this product is not for resale or something like that it's uh, like on all jordans i say that pretty sure on like the box or something but um i remember i used to be like why why are they like why are they hating like that why you know why, why do they care like they're a multi-million dollar company why do they care if someone's trying to make to, like sell their shoe for like 20 bucks more or make 20 bucks or whatever which is just like really dumb but it's all good you know i mean i, under, I understand like i mean they they make the shoe whatever but i mean that just that's still dumb but anyways what i'm trying to say is like it's gonna be hard for this shoe and this shoe to be in a really expensive shoe down the line because they made especially this one they made a lot of these but i do expect these to go up over time like this shoe will definitely go for some money over time but hold on one sec but yeah back into what i'm saying like it is definitely like for people who like collect shoes it's definitely awesome like for example me i collect shoes but i also sell them so you know i just a little bit of mixture of both i'm not like a dang 
culture vultures, people like, I mean, I don't know what the hate is against resellers. I don't know what exactly it is. Maybe just overpaying for your shoes is like where like all the hate came from for resellers. But um, personally, I don't see anything wrong with it as long as you're not like one of those people just like, you know, just like culture vulture, like you don't even wear sneakers, like you just sell them. Like that's just kind of lame. I'm not gonna lie. If you're just like selling a bunch of sneakers and you don't wear any of them, like that's just, that's just a little bit money hungry. But I mean, everyone do that. I mean, I don't knock no one's hustle, but um, me personally, I collect them and I sell them. So, but hold on one sec, y'all. Look at these breads. Look how good this would go with this outfit right here. Supreme, this is from like the fall winter drop that they just did like um this previous year. They did it like during like Christmas time. I remember I caught the blue like that was the best colorway pretty sure that they dropped like in the box logos they dropped they dropped this one that was gray with a camo box logo which is kind of like similar to this one this one has like the camo box logo really nice with the like you know just regular black tee and um it's crazy like in 2016 2015 if this dropped back then bro this shoe this shirt would be like 600 dollars. but now it goes for like 100 dollars, like resale and like retail it's like 40 bucks but honestly i see why this shoe this shirt should not be you no know, 600 bucks like it, it, it feels like a $40 shirt. I'm not gonna lie. It doesn't feel too crazy. Like the, it doesn't feel too quality, but it definitely is Supreme, you know, definitely pretty nice. Has like a nice little thick thickness to it. Like you definitely do feel like it's Supreme. Like you, you feel like a little Supreme when you wear, it. you know, you feel a little nice because it does feel like it does have some decent quality, but like, look how good this like would be on the fit. And I think it's off topic, but like, dude, babe shorts, this Supreme tee, this looks like a 2017 fit, but like, Hey, I don't really follow no trends and stuff. If I like it, I buy it honestly. So that's all I have to say there, but I would be, I'm very excited if they do come out with the white cements. This is all rumored. This is not like official or anything like that. Like white cements aren't for sure coming out, but if they do, that's a, that's, that's going to be something to look forward to y'all because like, that's going to be nice. But they like, if they do, bro, that's just going to be like an excessive amount of fours that they've been coming out. Like I said, breads, military blues, two really nice colorways. Um, two pairs of shoes that I did want, like I always wanted when I was younger, but like they always went for bread um like especially in my time but i'm pretty sure like the military blues and the breads whenever they first came out like they weren't going for like 500 dollars. they're probably going for like similar numbers to what those are going so i mean that just kind of tells you what those might do down the line not to get no one's hopes up but um yeah those those two pairs like these two right here if you don't think this is going to be a 350 dollars shoe down the line like in like a year or two i'm not going to say like six months i mean maybe but um i mean if you don't think this is going to be a 350 dollars shoe you're crazy like you're crazy bro because yeah, they made a bunch of these, but Nike, like, I don't know if they know how many people wanted this shoe because, I mean, they, they always make shoes a little bit exclusive, like certain models, like this one, they didn't make exclusive at all, but like certain models, I don't know why, they'll make them super exclusive so the resale's crazy, for example, like a Travis Scott or something like that, but um, yeah, pretty crazy, I mean, pretty nice shoe, but I'm um, back on the white cements. If those come out, that's a nice one that I like, I do, like, I still want that one, like, I would buy the 2016 version, but... I would like to have an updated version that's like, you know, newer, so it won't like, you know, like it won't uh, crack on me or anything like that. I don't think the 2016s would crack on you, but they might if they like been dead stock like over the years, because that is like an almost 10 year uh, shoe, um, that 10 year old shoe. But um, yeah, I'm, I'm just saying the military blue review or nothing like that. I don't know why I'm holding these, but uh, yeah, this kind of like want to talk about that, those two things, how Yeezys are hitting, um, they're hitting, um, what's it called? They're hitting like, uh, outlets and stuff for like 40 to 50 percent off so go check your adidas outlets if you have any near you if you hear something that's my dog but um yeah i'm just gonna tune out this video so i want to make a little short video talking about the white cements and how like yeezys are hitting outlets and stuff so make sure to check your adidas outlets near you if you have any um because if you can get some slides you know for like 50 percent off bro i just grab them you know because like i mean that's a good flip and also if you want if they have your size i mean that's a good shoe to rock to in the summer so um yeah so i kind of want to talk about and the white cement fours, like bro, if those if those come out, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be pretty geeked because those are nice. I would like to have those like an updated version, but it would have to be like OG. It have to be like a you know a copy of the 2016 version. I don't want to see no reimagined. Like they did pretty decent with the reimagined fours, but like I mean they did pretty good with the leather, but like it just looks like I don't know. It just I don't know. I, I would prefer just to have like a remake of the official bread, you know. But uh, they, these are nice, you know. I, I like them. I like the leather. I'd actually do like the leather more than the new buck. I honest, it's like kind of controversial. Like I kind of like the new ones more than the old ones, but um, I'm gonna end this video off here. Drop a like, drop a sub, all that good stuff. And um, make sure to, you know, yeah, hit the noti bell too, because you don't wanna miss no more fire videos that's gonna be on the way. So yeah, peace out.